NSFW, high school teachers, what juicy drama is going around your high school? Our HS Drama Club is doing a production of The Diary of Anne Frank. Hoping for the awkward moment when a student realizes who their teacher is on Reddit. Some kid brought a knife and a list of people he wanted to kill yesterday so that's just about how things are going. Ducking hippos man. They are our greatest threat. They will kill and destroy everything you love. They won't stop. They will literally fight to the death. Middle school here. Us teachers noticed that the female students had been highly interested in each other. And we joked with one another that we thought experimentation happened in college. So, a parent arrives to ask her daughter's teachers, principal, and counselor for advice on what to do with her child. Come to find out, her daughter had not been coming home at night because she was participating in lesbian orgies with her friends. One of my co-workers got fired and got beat the it out of by a gang of angry parents on an ordinary, sunny Tuesday. Turns out this guy was making these kids fight in this sort of tournament. The winners would receive a 10 that semester. Some tough the kids got hurt real bad. He'll never be able to teach again and he had to leave town because everyone wanted to hurt him. Rumors say that the videos are online but idk I haven't bothered to look. Bunnies. A girl came to school one day with 5 bunnies in her book bag. And by the end of the day had sold every bunny for 25 apiece. Every day. Teachers would be stopping kids and looking through book bags and lunch boxes. It was chaos. And the bunnies were still being sold. Occasionally you'd see someone with a lump in their jacket with an ear poking out bunny. A cracked lunchbox bunny. Eventually, this turned into a full black market bunny selling ring. The leader had recruited other sellers. And they had designated bunny trading spots. Our school is infamous for gangs and drugs. So this was a pleasant surprise to most. Over time. The bunny selling trickled to a stop, but occasionally one will pop up. A beloved teacher and coach got charged with ducking a student. The teacher had a wife. The student was a guy. I teach social studies and I'm pretty sure this sums up mine and my colleagues attitudes to high school drama. A couple of months after graduation, a friend of mine told me she'd had a two year long affair with her English journalism teacher. Last year, a kid shoved a lollipop into some other kid's ear. It busted his eardrum as it started bleeding and supposedly he couldn't hear properly for the rest of the semester. Not a teacher but at my former high school the vice principal recently got fired for breaking into people's houses and stealing prescription pills. Every time I got in trouble in high school he said that I should look up to him because he was a respectable adult with a good job. LOL. When I was in HS. A rumor started floating around that our English teacher, 9 stroke 10 by the way, had had relations with one of the senior football players and gotten knocked up. After a while, she had a kinda visible baby bump. And after this rumor surfaced during the second semester, she got a long term sub for a few weeks and showed back up looking pretty alright. But no bump. Even one of the teachers I hung out with after graduating thinks she actually did get pregnant by this kid and hit the abort button. Man, high schools in other countries have some intense drama. Back when I was in high school, in New Zealand, the most dramatic thing I can remember happening is someone drawing an enormous, like a hundred meters long, D on our sports field with weed color. The field was in a lowered area from the main school buildings. You had to take quite a lot of stairs to get to it. So you got a really good view of the whole thing whenever you were at the school and walking past. Edit. Damn. It seems there are a lot of high schools in NZ that had this prank done. I'm talking about Newlands College, for those of you guessing. After I graduated, my gym teacher, S, were arrested for having sex with students. The female gym teacher fell in love with one of the boys. Obligatory not a teacher, but some kid at my school got pistol whipped last weekend. Apparently he got a little too close to some guy's girlfriend and the dude arranged a beat up posing as the girl. Nobody really feels sorry for this kid due to the fact that he's negative as duck, has no regard for personal space, and is annoying. High school student, and not even sharing drama but thought this is kinda relevant. Anyway at my school we had an amazing teacher who literally knew everything. Students would literally come up to her and give her gossip. 
She knew about stuff like which regional kid gave which your tenor blow job in the sports center. The time I first smoked weed and all kinda it. Best part? She didn't get any of us in trouble. In all honesty. It was kinda nice to have her around. I miss her. Bethany and Deendra have been best friends for like. 4 years. But Bethany started hanging out with Amber all the time and Deendra got jealous and told Bethany she'd better drop Amber. Bethany is all. Deendra has pulled the sit before and I'm not about to beg for her friendship. And Deendra is all. Things are different now. So these days Bethany and Deendra sit on opposite sides of the room and talk loudly. But not to each other. And they both have to find new roommates for next year. We have a very openly gay flamboyant male student who was beaten up by a group of the tough jocks for telling all of his friends about having a crush on one of the top sports players in the school. As it turns out, he had been secretly meeting this guy in parking lots and secret locations for months for hookups. After the jock let his friends beat him up for the rumors, he posted screenshots of their conversations and NSFW exchanged pics on all social media platforms for the whole student body to read. My junior year English teacher loved my high school more than anything. He made it his whole life. After I graduated, our new president principal combo went through and fired almost all the teachers that student loved, including him. After that he went missing. His favorite book to teach was Into the Wild and I just know he pulled one of those. He was last spotted leaving church and then a duffel bag with his wallet and phone were found abandoned on a beach two hours from where we lived. Never heard from again. There was all kinds of crazy drama at my school after I graduated though. This was like the least of it. Edit. Fixing words. The high school I used to go to has made a newspaper for something bad nearly every year since it opened. It was a good school but had some bad things happen. The year the school opened one of the teachers, we will call him Ted, got caught for repeatedly having sex with one of his students. Ted was a young very attractive guy. He coached cross country. Taught the highest level math and was loved by pretty much everyone. Long story short. He was sent to jail and the girl transferred. Flash forward 3 years. I'm at a concert with my mom. I know it's lame. Her friend. Some college girls and a friend of mine. Everyone got drunk but me and I started talking to the college girls. Apparently one of the girls was going to get married to Ted in a month. Best part was that she forgave Ted for having sex with that that high school girl because he was high at the time. Also, the reason he could not come to the concert with us was because he was in jail for drug possession. We had 6 suicides in 4 years and as a response the administration made every Tuesday milk and cookies day where students got out of class early to head to the cafeteria to get milk and cookies. These two kids in my school. Eric and Dylan keep getting bullied and administration isn't doing anything. They're kind of shady characters. But I think they'd get picked on less if they didn't wear trench coats so much. I'm teacher. Apparently a student tried to commit suicide. After he passed a video of himself eating ass. Expecting it to garner appreciation from his fellow students. It did not. I guess it wasn't a clean ass. Did not watch it. Obviously. I teach 9th grade. The head football coach of my school is currently suspended and being investigated for exposing himself. He got slightly drunk at a football camp, was grilling hot dogs for the players, put his D in a hot dog bun, turned around showing every student there, and said this, you think those are big dogs, look at this. High school student here, people were betting up to you a cute 10,000 on FIFA games. A kid got expelled for dealing LSD in the school. And some dude hooked up with a girl and he put his hand in her mouth and said I am in control now. I dropped out a few months ago due to mental health concerns. But that's what I've kept up with. My senior year of high school. Some kids from our rival high school snuck onto our football field and used the weed killer to draw a huge dingus on our football field. Best part is that it was at that time Google Maps must have been doing their flyover. And for years when you looked at our football field dot there it was. Best senior prank ever emo. I was really close to my art teachers. So after I graduated high school I'd occasionally go back to high school to visit. A year or two after I graduated. There was some intense drama brewing on the day I visited and I got to hear all the gossip. 
apparently are a girl and guy were having sex in the middle of class time in the stairway, they are really strict about students in the halls when it's class time so if a teacher even sees you you're already suspicious. Sounds travel. Obviously. So a teacher found the mid thrust. The guy ran before teacher got a good look at his face and left the girl standing there with her pants down. Anything after this point hadn't been resolved by the time I left, and never bothered to ask about a continuation because I don't care too much, but I'd imagine the girl ratting the guy out, especially because he ditched her, and them both getting into major trouble. My high school was is very strict and nothing like this happened when I was in school, or I didn't know about it, in my own world. So that teenagers were so horny that they'd do something this ballsy stuck to me. I've already graduated uni for over a year now. So this was a while back. Sorry it's not recent juice. Not a teacher but still kind of in the loop. There was one kid at the school who was pretty normal. Mostly hanging out on the playground. Playing basketball. Relaxing. Occasionally getting into minor trouble but nothing much worse than some graffiti. Well. One day. This kid is out shooting some b-ball outside of the school when a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in his neighborhood. Kid got in one little fight and his mom went nuts, overreacted, and sent him to live in California. We don't hear much from him but the last word I got was that he was living it up at his rich uncle's house. Good for him.